And so she wakes up, time to break down. She left a note up on the dresser, and she's right on time. Hey, hey, YouTube, Red Sox fan, finally back again with Let's Play Vanilla World of Warcraft. This is episode 38. In the last episode, I left off at Scarlet Monastery Graveyard, and now I'm starting with Scarlet Monastery Library. Some of you might notice, but this is actually the exact same group as in the last episode, and that's because right after we ran Scarlet Monastery Graveyard, we were like, oh yeah, let's just go run library. So the tank's still the same, all the DPS, it's all the same group, and I am still the healer. And surprisingly, we didn't have any hiccups along the way. We only wiped like uh, one or two times, and it, it wasn't my fault. So, you know, I'm not a bad healer. Don't blame me. And I don't know if you can notice if my voice is a little... Uh, it sounds a little, like, stuffy. And uh, that's because, as I mentioned when I posted the two Heroes of the Storm videos, I was fighting off illnesses i don't know what to call it i had like a fever sore throat super sore throat i couldn't talk for a while so i couldn't make any videos so i apologize for that and it's still i'm still kind of backed up all mucusy and you guys don't want to hear about that anyway this is the library wing of scarlet monastery and it is the uh, rightmost entrance as you were if you're trying to get into the instance i believe the minimum level requirement to actually enter the instance is level 29 but I recommend trying this dungeon, especially if you're a DPS or tank, as uh, level 32 or 33 at, at least, because all the mobs are around that level, and the bo two bosses are like 35, they're both like 35 elites. This dungeon, like the graveyard wing, does not require a key to enter the instance. But, at the end of this dungeon, you loot the chest containing the key that you need to open the armory and cathedral doors. As with the Graveyard Wing, the Library Wing also consists of three sections. The Huntsman's Cloister, the Gallery of Treasures, and the Athenaeum. The Library Wing consists of two bosses, Houndmaster Loxy, who is found in the Huntsman's Cloister, and Arcanus Doan, the end boss of the dungeon found in the Athenaeum. The Huntsman's Cloister is the outermost area of the Scarlet Monastery's Library Wing. It contains numerous lesser Scarlet Crusade members including Scarlet Gallants and Scarlet Beastmasters as well as being the location of Houndmaster Loxy, and it leads on into the Gallery of Treasures. Houndmaster Loxy is one of the four leaders of the Scarlet Monastery, and captain in charge of training the Hounds, which the Scarlet Crusade used to track down their enemies. Loxy commands the loyalty of fearsome hyenas that can tear their victim apart limb by limb within minutes. He is apparently the brother of Huntsman Leopold, a Scarlet Emissary sent to Light Hope's Chapel as part of the Scarlet Crusade's reluctant alliance with the Argent Dawn. When speaking to him, Leopold is of the opinion that Loxy can't even take care of his own hounds, let alone represent a crusade, which is why Leopold was sent instead of Loxy. Houndmaster Loxy comes with three elite Scarlet Tracking Hounds. They are vulnerable to all forms of crowd control that work on beasts. Generally, one hound is polymorphed by a mage, the tank hold aggros on Loxy, and DPS focuses on the other hounds until all are dead, at which point the party focuses on Loxy. AoE abilities can also help bring the hounds down. If the previous room has been cleared, fear can also be used safely as the hounds are unlikely to draw other mobs into the fight. Loxy will enrage at 25%. Loxy drops three pieces of loot which are notable. First, the dog training gloves, which are leather hand pieces that give you plus 30 attack power when fighting beasts. Second, the dog whistle, which is not technically a piece of loot, but when used, summons a tracking hound that will protect you for 600 seconds, or 10 minutes. And it has three charges, and it's expendable, meaning once you use it for the third time, it will disappear. It is not like a permanent trinket you can have. And last but not least is a rare staff called Loxy's Training Stick, which gives you plus 60 attack power when fighting beasts. The Gallery of Treasures is a second area of Scarlet Monastery's library wing. It lies beyond the Huntsman's Cloister and is full of members of the Scarlet Crusade. Numerous paintings and artifacts line the halls, and small chambers containing books and other works of art dot the passageway. The gallery leads on into the Athenaeum. Found within the Gallery of Treasures are Scarlet Chaplains, Scarlet Adepts, Scarlet Monks, and Scarlet Diviners. The Athenaeum is the innermost area of the Scarlet Monastery's library wing, and is what gives the wing its name. It lies beyond the Gallery of Treasures and is full of members of the Scarlet Crusade. The shelves are filled with books of varied content, and the dungeon's most powerful mage, Arcanus Doan, awaits foolhardy adventurers in the last chamber. Arcanus Doan is the keeper of the monastery's library, a guardian of the arcane that the Scarlet Crusade is rumored to distrust. Yet, he is indeed a trusted official of the Crusade, keeping a vital key, the Scarlet Key, that grants access to the Scarlet operations across the Plaguelands. 
Arcana Stone believes that arcane magic is the only way to rid Lordaeron of the Scourge. Before joining the Scarlet Crusade, he was presumably a member of the Knights of the Silver Hand, in much the same position, as he can be seen during the meeting of Commander Mograine, the two paladins Tyrion Forging and Lady Abindus, and the two priests Fairbanks and Isilion in the Old Hillsbrad instance of Caverns of Time, wearing the same tabard as the other members of Mograine's circle of trusted friends. As evidenced by the silver coin he has thrown into Dalaran's fountain, Doan has a crush on Abindus. He may be related to Felicia Doan, an Undercity trades good vendor, but this is only because of the name's similarity. He is also mentioned in the schools of arcane magic, Abjuration, for his arcane bubble spell. Arcana Stone uses several spells and abilities throughout the fight. Silence, which is an AoE silence around the caster in the 10 yard radius. Detonation, a high damage AoE spell that deals fire damage and has a 6 second cast time. Arcane Bubble, which shields the caster for 8 seconds, making him immune to all attacks and spells, Arcane Missiles, and Polymorph. The one thing to watch out for is his detonation spell he uses when at half health. This can inflict huge amounts of damage to the targets. All mages should use Fire Ward, if available, and cast Dampened Magic on the rest of the party. His detonation spell can be avoided if you move out of line of sight, so if you tank him near the doorway, you can just move out of his line of sight. He will cast it at 50% health, just after he casts Arcane Bubble. Doan also uses an AoE Silence which can severely limit healers and casters. Due to the relatively small size of this room, the only way for a caster to avoid its large AoE easily is to stay in the corridor, in which case the tank must take care to keep himself and Doan in the caster's line of sight. He also polymorphs a target, so make sure that your priests and paladins dispel it. Druids can shift out of polymorph. Shaman have Grounding Totem for polymorph. Paladins can bubble out of it, the Polymorph cast can be counterspelled. Overall, this encounter is pretty simple. Arcana Stone probably has one of the most impressive loot tables I've seen throughout this Let's Play to date, but all of his drops are for casters. He drops the Robe of Doan, which is a cloth chest piece, the Mantle of Doan, which is a cloth shoulder piece, the Hypnotic Blade, which is a one hand dagger, and the Illusionary Rod, which is a staff with 15 intellect, 10 spirit, and 7 stamina which is what most people run this dungeon for. That or the Hypnotic Blade. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I bet you guys weren't expecting a third dungeon run in a row for episode 38, but it's just because, uh, as I mentioned, I had a little surprise for you guys, and I had ran uh, the graveyard and library ring in the same day, basically in the same hour, and I had them both recorded, so I figured, hey, why not do this? I also have a ton of footage for the next episode 39, and since I actually leveled up to 30 in the graveyard episode, <clears throat> after the library episode, uh, after I recorded all that footage, I went and I recorded me doing some extra special uh, shaman stuff, uh, which you guys will see in the next episode. So uh, be excited for that. Uh, it's summer break for me. Uh, I know I said um, I had my last finals for the year, well, for the school year. Uh, last week and I actually just moved out of my apartment so I moved back to my home in Palm Springs as opposed to Irvine uh, so I'm back home I'm actually looking for a job but I should have a lot of free time on my hands to make a bunch of episodes make a bunch of content put it out for you guys I also want to start doing uh, more Hearthstone maybe uh, Heroes of the Storm that is really fun uh, and surprisingly if you guys watch my gameplay and you're like oh this guy's pretty good this is the first MOBA that I've ever played. I never played League of Legends or Dota or Dota 2. So uh, Heroes of the Storm is the first like MOBA, which stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena or something like that. So this is the first one I've ever played. If you guys are just like, oh wow, this guy's pretty good. I bet he plays a lot of League. I had never played League in my life. So yeah. And I'm also, uh, I'd be, you know, mad at myself if I didn't say that I've been keeping up with the World Cup, definitely. I uh, love to watch soccer, or as some of you, most of my European fans are going to be like, ah, oh, he's at soccer. He means football. So football, soccer, Either or either way you prefer to say it, uh, definitely rooting for the USA. We're playing Ghana today, so by the time this episode comes up, uh, the game will already be over. So I hope the USA wins. If not, oh well, a tie is pretty good here. I just don't think we can lose, or else we will not make it out of our group. In that case, uh, that being said, I will bid you guys a farewell, and I will see you soon with more Let's Play Vanilla World of Warcraft. So until then, guys, as always, stay classy and peace out.